This next clip here is taken from the action comedy film The Naked Gun 33 and a Third, The Final Insult. It's the third part in a trilogy of action comedy films created by the Zoika Brothers, famous directors for creating such films as the disaster spoof film Airplane. The first shot we see is a high shot of a building, which pans down to a shot of a staircase when the first scene of the film is set. As this also plays, opening credits are running in the middle of the shot. Fans of the series would recognise this next character as the main character in the franchise, as they would also notice the man at the top, shown in a few seconds. Both of them have just adjusted their guns so that people who hadn't seen the series beforehand would understand that they were undercover. This newspaper is an example of one of the trademark jokes which usually litter a Zoika film. We also have a close-up of the main character and a point of view shot as he looks upon the clock and the wall of the cradle. We can see that he is obviously waiting for something, but in the meantime he also chooses to help the woman carry the baby up the staircase. As another woman with a pram appears, we understand that this is obviously the setup for a joke in the beginning of the film. The music in the background also becomes more tense if this was a serious scene in the film, adding to the humour of it. As we see a third one with a pran appear, we realise that this is getting a bit silly, adding to the humour of the joke, of course. We also understand that since this is setting up now all three people that were supposed to be undercover have now got a pram, there's obviously going to be something dangerous happen now. This dangerous thing now obviously appears when we have a zoom in shot of the man and a close up of this rather suspicious looking figure. As we have a two shot of the two groups of characters, we then have close up shots of each character and it zooms in in order to show the tension between the two of them. The music then builds up to a dramatic crescendo and then all the people who are supposed to be undercover let go of the prams, which being the main joke of the section here. This man then also starts filling with the gun and sort of the slapstick comedy which you commonly found in these sort of comedy films. Another trademark of Jeremy Zoika is to have completely irrelevant things happen into a scene, as is the man chasing his lawnmower downstairs. We then have a dramatic scene as if it was a high pinched action scene, where the main character also goes and picks up a penny. Again, this is just over elaborating the idea that this is an action scene. The jokes keep coming pretty quickly after this section here, with the, main, with the President of the United States and the Pope being escorted down this staircase which they've been protecting. We then have a terrorist figure come in trying to attack both of them, who is swiftly taken out of the scene. Again, more slapstick comedy with the children flying out of the prams and the disgruntled total surface. Many people will have realised by now that this is obviously not an actual event, with the main character looking very serious and using his machine gun as another character in the background is catching the babies that are flying in the air. The idea of such a strange and silly situation makes it so much funny for us to watch. The final shot of the sequence is the main character's face being zoomed in and him waking up. This of course obviously it must have been a dream because it was just too far fetched for comedy. No, no, it's not that. I had a nightmare.